welcome Virgo we're going to be looking at what action you need to take during this year okay um, using the work your light oracle cards and I've specifically pulled out the action cards from the deck for this reading for you so let's get on to it here okay Virgo one card there we go just like that and it is leap Virgo leap okay so you go first. The universe will catch you. So this is this massive leap of faith, right? We're going to read the um, the meaning of the card right at the end. But yeah, this is this leap of faith. And there's something holding you back. Is it fear? Um, it's kind of like this thing of, oh, I really, really want to. I'd love to do that. But there's something holding you back. So let's have a look at this further, shall we? And what you can actually do to allow this to take place this this leap of faith to take place i just want to make sure these are in order here because when we're talking about a new beginning we want that to be able to execute that to the best of our ability so that we get the most out of it One more card. There we go. Oh, and that was two. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, so what's this first card here? Re receptivity. Interesting. Silence. You know, here's the thing, right? I really feel like there's this um, this growth that you can have. There's sort of like, um, it's like a balancing that needs to be done. Um, kind of like being on an equal footing with yourself okay and um receiving receiving the um the silence and what i mean by that is sitting in the silence and allowing what it is that that gives you to come through because in order for you to take this leap there's this trust that needs to be developed. And I feel like it's trust with the universe because there's a lack of faith there for some of you. And, and this is super important for you to begin to actually develop for yourself, okay? This mind card here, um, this is what is getting in your way. It's, it's this mind chatter this monkey mind that goes on and on and on makes all this noise and actually never has any value to add right and and this is something that you um i think need to learn to silence for yourself and um, because we do have the silence card coming up here and it's sitting right in between the receptivity card and the mind card and this is um a way to to quiet in that chatter now the thing is Virgo when we go into the silence we can't stop the mind doing what it does like the mind is created to um think right so it's always going to do that it's about deciding what you you're going to invest your energy into what thoughts will you invest your energy into and um, pay attention to because that ultimately is um, going to be the deciding factor as to how you actually move forward we are the world now this is really about coming together with like hearted people joining with other people who are on the same page as you you are um embarking upon a journey that is going to lead you to the happiest times of your life like Truly, I feel like there's, you know, times where you may have felt like it doesn't get any better than this. And yet what is to come, there is so much more. And um, I have a feeling that some of you can feel that. But it's just this fear that is getting in the way and this mind chatter. Um, so this, this is really important this year for you to get on top of that to stop polluting um, these ideas that you have for yourself 
and to allow yourself to actually do what needs to be done. Okay, um, we have guidance here. And this here, I feel like so this, these two came out together. And it really feels to me like as you join with other people who are your people, they're going to be able to give you the guidance that you need in order for you to get further on and take this leap of faith. They're going to support you and they're going to encourage you. Okay. And the fact of the matter is, Virgo, that, hang on a minute. The fact of the matter is, is that when you are around those sorts of people, who um, are cheering you on when you are lacking that faith within yourself um, they are going to give you the encouragement that you need in order to take this leap okay we have the miser here and we have letting go there's this energy of um, withholding it, I feel like for some of you this is withholding knowledge actually um, or treasures but knowledge can be a treasure um, I feel as though there's sort of the scarcity mindset um, and that needs to be let go of I know it's easier said than done right when you don't have anything it's really hard to have faith that you know you're going to get what it is that you need it's easy you know like I was saying to someone the other day you know we were talking about you know how money is and everything and that's very well and fine when you have money when you've got everything you need it's easy to say that but when you've got nothing and you have no money, and you don't know how you're going to pay your rent, or pay your bills, or get food, money becomes everything, you know, and um, and when we're talking about survival, it can be a game changer, you know, so in that regard, it's easy to sit here and say, oh, we'll just let go of this stuff, you know, but it's a lot more difficult when you're in dire straits and you don't know where your next meal is coming from or whether you're going to have a roof over your head next week or whatever, you know. So it is an art. It is an art to practice, okay? And sometimes it can actually be not changing that necessarily, that thought. It can just be focusing on something else in the meantime, taking yourself for a walk, going for a swim, whatever it is, you know, having a little sleep to shift yourself out of that state, um, doing something differently so that you're not sitting in it, okay? Because when you're sitting in it, you bring more of it to you because that's the vibration that you are in, okay? The dream and this is why I'm saying this, right? Because it's like there is this vision there, there is this want, there is this need, um, and it's not there. And that's where sometimes the lack of can make it seem impossible. But in fact, it's the focusing on the lack of that can create more distance between you and the dream of getting to that, okay? Um, because everything that you want vibrationally is actually there for you it's really about letting go of everything that is getting in your way and this is it right weighing you down this there's stuff that is weighing you down and we have next to this card sharing so this is about this stuff that you have kept to yourself that you've hidden um, maybe not purposefully, but you, um, you, even you don't want to acknowledge, that you don't want to look at, you know, and honestly, when you share this stuff with those who are your people, with those who are there for you, it's going to be so much easier, it's going to lighten your load, and it's going to lead the way, that light is going to shine to lead the way, and when you tell your story to others, you're going to light a, a path that's going to help them also okay so always remember that okay and then we have this 
we have this here Virgo this is what you are heading towards this is this new beginning a passionate loving amazing new beginning this is what you're here for this is your soul's calling and this is what this path will lead you to if you want it if you want to do the work in order to get here you know no one said it would be easy for some of you it might be easier than others depending on how much work you've done already right but when you get to the source of the matter, when you get to the crux of it, when you get to your soul's calling, there is going to be nothing that could ever match that, ever. And this is the journey that you are on. And so there is action that needs to be taken throughout this year to get here. Yeah, accepting the guidance, right? Going into the silence, getting that monkey mind, you know, not, not buying into everything that it's telling you, for sure, 100%. Letting go of the things that you're suppressing up and out, getting them out. You know, sharing with people who you trust and know have your back, okay? Super, super important. And so we have at the very first page here, leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. Life bends for the courageous. The universe wants to support you, but first you need to leap to throw your life up in the air. Perhaps you know what you are being called to leap towards or away from, love it, but are scared to make the move. Or maybe perhaps you are waiting for a big fat sign or instruction manual or permission to do so first. If this is you, then this card is your sign and permission slip to take a deep breath and leap into the unknown. It's scary to let go of all that we know in hope of something new. And it's normal to feel anxious at the thought of letting go of what we know for sure. But this is the unavoidable process of rising. And right now, this is how you are being called to live. Nature is constantly showing us how to live with courage. Fall comes every year and encourages the trees to loosen their grip. To allow what once was so full of life to fall away leaf by leaf. For a moment it feels like nothing will grow again. The branches are left bare without the comfort of what once was. But in the morn of spring, new shoots begin to appear and something new is born that is even more glorious than before. So the action you need to take, you go first, take a good run up and leap. Yeah, awesome. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that with you. Good luck and take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.